you. Thank you very much. And really, I appreciate being here today. It's a, it's a distinguished honor to be in front of the students and their parents and those that have, that have uh, allowed them to be here and, and receive this wonderful education. The education that I experienced was quite a bit different. There, there, was, a, there was at that time no real technology of how to study. In fact, I think as you look across cultures, there is not a single culture on the planet that has a technology and approach to study that, if used accurately, will invariably yield a result. Uh, there's a lot of pounding and pushing, and, and people do make it to the top, but many people get left behind in that kind of an environment. We just spent a few minutes, myself and the students together, and to the person, they're talking about their pride, their self-esteem, their confidence, their love for life, and it's just a, it's a joy for me to be here today with each of you. Education is the bedrock of cultural affluence. It begins cultures, continues cultures, and cultures rise and fall on the back of education. Strong education, they rise. Poor education, they fall. Education is therefore vital to life's forward progress. <clears throat> the Greek philosopher Aristotle once said, the roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. I experienced the roots, but not the fruit. <laughs> until I learn how to study. The Delphian School is a special and unique educational institution that clearly understands the power and relevance of Mr. Hubbard's educational philosophy as it applies to the world's thirst and desire to educate its people. The Delphian symbol with the quill pen and paper in the background prominently display the relevance of knowledge, ethics, integrity, and leadership to cultural prosperity. As graduates, please carry these words everywhere you go. Try to live up to the meanings these words convey to the utmost of your ability. For parents, friends, and relatives in the audience, allow me to share what Delphian School stands for from my experience with it that stretches out over three decades. Delphi is here for learners with an independent streak. Delphi is here for those who aren't afraid to forge their own past and never believe they can't do something. Delphi is here for artists athletes, entrepreneurs, explorers, scientists in the making who refuse to limit themselves with labels. Delphi is here for those who seek connections between what they learn and how they live, for those who think, plan, and act with integrity and careful consideration for the world in which they do live. That is what Delphi stands for. It is committed to the betterment of its students and society. Delphi is dedicated to the principle that educated men and women can and will improve the condition of life. One cannot over-celebrate a milestone such as graduation from the Delphian School, and I wish to express my admiration for the persistence and focused attention each of you have contributed to this unbelievable successful class, and I mean the parents and friends that are in the audience that have, have funded this education and borne the burden of raising multiple children in, a, in an environment like we sit with today. But this has really polished the reputation of Delphi and will continue as these seeds are planted in the years ahead to polish this reputation. Someday in this world, we will see institutions similar to this to be normal de rigor education around the world and the pleasure that that will be when that time comes. While it is true there are a limited number of graduates, 28 I know, uh, it is also true there exists within each of you grads an unlimited potential to achieve a phenomenal impact on society going forward. The challenge is to leverage and utilize the abilities gained while a student at Delphi. Some examples of abilities gained are knowledge and use of study technology, the vital role of personal ethics and integrity across all aspects of life, how to plan out and successfully lead and execute a large project, how to write well, how to properly evaluate data in order to solve problems, innovate new solutions to problems of long standing, innovate new products, bring into existence new services of unparalleled value. Without question, the Delphi experience and becoming a Delphi grad has been and remains an adventurous journey. 
as some of you were telling me just a few minutes ago, the push you had to get through in these last few weeks to be here this afternoon. It is not for the faint of heart, not for the impatient ones, nor for those lacking in ethics and integrity, or with limited resources of time, energy, creativity, imagination, and willingness to sacrifice. So the question is, who does this kind of work, and what are they made of? All the who's are tough to name because really there are so many graduates. However, the characteristics common to Delphi graduates are easy to define. Among those characteristics are curiosity, caring about life and its forward progress, extraordinary intellectual and creative power is present to a great degree, long and hard work goes without saying, although I just did, it takes courage to do things others consider impossible or have tried and failed. So observation, knowledge, a sense of certainty, and quiet confidence that the work one is accomplishing is worthwhile in the broadest sense will be found to be present in all Delphi students. Certainly, a resonant tendency to expect the best possible outcome fuels the energy always required to make a meaningful difference for the betterment of existing conditions. A willingness to take chances is part and parcel of the innovative Delphi education. Perception and perfection are worth validating. One must perceive if one's idea is or is not workable. Perceiving requires looking without prejudice, prejudgment, seeing what you see, not necessarily what you desire to see or what someone else insists that you see, but really see and really perceive what is truly there. This does require an intolerance of mediocrity, particularly in oneself. So a sense of perfection and consistently striving to do better in the direction of a known goal are characteristics of Delphi students and staff, future teams these students will lead, organizations they will join or create, and cultures you will favorably impact. A sense of humor always, is always resident at Delphi and can act like feathers on a duck's back, which allow the emotions of failure to roll right off. Setbacks have not stopped you from accomplishing your vital targets. As you have moved up the ladder of accomplishment, so has your confidence, trust in yourself, your fellow classmates, the staff, and the entire Delphi family. This has sparked a willingness to persist, work smart and hard, to adapt to changing circumstances not always doing things the same old way. Instead, you've been willing to consider new options and new solutions to time-worn problems and barriers to happy living. By striving to achieve great things, not just for yourself, but for the betterment of Delphi and mankind at large, some will accuse you of being idealistic. Surely, there are worse things to be accused of. The cherishing or pursuit of high or noble principles and purposes and goals can lead to levels of creation that spark unparalleled joy. With the application of the above characteristics, prosperity, success, and happiness for Delphi grads are not so elusive after all. This I'm sure you know. Because of your accomplishments, they speak volumes. Do continue, because the sky above you, there are no limits. In closing, I wish to offer the entire class of 2016 a huge challenge. Not that you haven't confronted many before, but here comes another one. I have observed, heard from others, know about some amazing positive changes for the better that each of you have experienced during your Delphi days. Each of you have grown in ways and means that have impressed all who know you. You may have even surprised and pleased yourself. I'm referring to your growth in self-esteem, pride of accomplishment, tolerance for others, confidence in self, willingness to help others, love for life, and admiration for your fellows. Your challenge is to bring about in others the positive Delphi traits you have nurtured and now possess. In the process of doing so, use the tools and knowledge you have gained at Delphi. Delphi grads, you have become true geniuses. And as we know from the original definition of the word itself, genius potential is innate resident in everyone. Many just don't know it yet. Your obligation is to inform them and assist them in bringing it out. You love to study, so will others when you show them how. Knowledge is powerful. Be powerful in whatever you do and thereby and thereby set a good example. 
At the Delphine School, anything is possible if it is good for life. In the world outside, away from the Delphine environment, you will find the word impossible. It's impossible is liberally used throughout society. And when someone says to you that what you say, assert, suggest, or believe to be possible in the future is impossible, I suggest you say, I live for the impossible. <laughs> My life is all about making the impossible possible, so long as what I'm doing forwards life. So show the way, lead others in making the impossible possible now becomes your obligation if you choose to accept this challenge. I have no doubt, no hesitation, no reservation that each of you will succeed in this important endeavor because you have learned the only way to achieve the impossible is to believe it is possible. Class of 2016, you are well into the game of making life a whole lot better for everyone. I speak for all of us gathered here when I say it is with great excitement that we await your future impact on society at large. And personally, I can't wait to see, hear, and read about it. Delphi class of 2016, you are the best. Thank you.